Hey there guys, what's going on? I'm Vile Self, bringing you a topic commentary here, playing some hardpoint on Map Cove, Black Ops 2. Been working on some challenges lately. I'm trying to get uh, all the uh, calling cards unlocked. So I'm working on grenade launcher challenges, uh, dual wield pistols, dual band scopes, and uh, what else? There was another one. Oh yeah, the tri bolt for the crossbow, which I recently finished. Um, took a while though. It's hard getting 500 kills with that tri bolt attachment. But as you can see, I'm gonna spam uh, grenades in this game, trying to get grenade launcher kills. But Anyway, I do some dual wielding in this game and eventually get a pretty decent score and uh, we start off pretty rough but we come back and get the win. Um, sorry to spoil that for you. But anyway, on with the topic of today. Now, I want to talk to you guys about something and it's a little bit of a personal uh, subject for me right now and I'm pretty sure most people have gone or know people that have gone through stuff like this and I just want your guys' opinions on the topic but the thing is, what do you say to your friend if he's he or she is in a relationship and you know that this relationship is not good for them and you know that, you know, in your in your heart, you know that they could do better and they could be happier with another person, you know. Um I don't want to go into too much details because like I said it's a personal issue I don't want to you know call my friend out or anything like that or even be specific on the issue itself but I will tell you that I have a friend who's in a relationship they've been together for a long time or you know I'm friends with both of them but the relationship takes a turn for the worst and they have these issues and you know they're not just you know sweep under the rug type of issues where you know you might argue with your your boyfriend or your girlfriend you know once or twice and then you know everything's fine the next day kind of thing these are these issues are more serious and they're definitely damaging to the health of the relationship and now my friend has come up to me before and he's brought this these issues to my attention and told me like you know what dude I've I've tried to help I've tried to you know um, be there for this other person and they accept my help at first but then they always you know kind of relapse into these problems and um, you know I tell my friend you know you're you're a great stick by it you know don't give up on them too fast you know let you know, maybe these problems will work themselves out. Sometimes people go through phases and stuff like this. And so my friend, you know, he says, I'm going to you know, give her another chance. And he does. And for the longest time, things are great. But then these problems come up again. And my friend comes back to me and he says, you know, that's happening again. You know, I tried to get her help, but it's happening again. And I don't know what to do. And I said, well, you know what, man, like, it's, it's your call, but you really got to think about yourself here, too. You can't just keep putting, um, you know, other people ahead of you because you're you're not being true to yourself. You got to you got to put yourself first sometimes, you know. So he says, you know what, I, I, I understand. He says he understands, but he says he's going to give her one more chance. It's the last chance, but he really thinks if he if he sticks with it that she'll uh, you know she'll snap out of it and she'll snap out of her phase and and they can go back to how they were before and everything will be fine so I say okay you know what I support your decisions and I support just support anything you want to do and so that's what he does he gives her another chance and you know everything's great for her it starts to happen again and this time he didn't come to me about it but he went to a mutual friend and that friend informed me of the situation and I'm at the point now where I know this girl's not good for my friend. I mean, they've been together for quite a while. I'd say probably four years, um, give or take. So they got a, they got, they got some time invested. They got some time. They got some emotion. They got some money. They got a lot of stuff invested into the relationship. But it comes to a point where you have to realize that certain problems won't go away no matter how much you try to help somebody and you also got to realize that you are going to be spending your life with this person so this is a problem that excuse me this is a problem that's not going to just 
you know, you're not going to get used to it. You're going to have to deal with it for your whole life. So, the, the thing I'm concerned about is why would you want to, you know, put up with somebody who you're trying to help and they have a problem and you're trying to help them and they don't want to help themselves. And this person, all they're doing is causing distress and problems and they're damaging the relationship that is otherwise healthy on your part. And you are doing everything you can to make, keep this relationship healthy and this person just keeps falling into this hole and basically sabotaging it. And you already said, my friend already said that it was the last chance that he was going to give her. And yet it's happening again. So I haven't talked to him this time around and I'm kind of afraid to because I know what I want to tell him. And I want to tell him, dude, this girl's not good for you. You can find somebody better. There's plenty of girls out there and you know, my friend's the kind of guy like he bends over backwards for girls. This guy really like like if I was a girl, I'd want to date this guy. Not to sound like a like a fag or anything like that. And I'm sorry to use that word. I shouldn't say fag. Um I have nothing against gay people. My brother's gay. I love him to death. Anyway, that's besides the point. I'm going on a tangent now because I said a word blah 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 fag. You're going to rip on me about that probably. Anyway, sorry about that. But I can be a little insensitive sometimes. Um, but anyway, I'm just saying, he's a great guy. He's a great boyfriend. He's very supportive. You know, he's always there for her. He's always, you know, looking out for her. He puts her as number one all the time. And she kind of walks all over him by, you know, by letting these problems overtake both of their lives. And I know people have issues, and it's not easy to, you know, get over problems especially serious ones and I would say this is a serious problem but if he's you know taking all the necessary steps to ensure that you know she gets the help she needs and he's supporting her stuff like that and she just keeps going back to it then there's not much more he can do and that's my opinion there's not much more he can do so why why should he keep wasting his time and efforts on this relationship when his girlfriend won't even give the same consideration. She won't even put forth the same effort into the relationship that he's putting in. I have a problem with that. I have a big problem with that. Because, in my opinion, a relationship's got to be mutual. Both sides of the relationship have to put in the same amount of effort in order for the relationship to work and be functioning and be successful. And, like, I have a girlfriend. Me and my girlfriend have been together for going on seven years. And yeah, we have our problems. Our relationship is not perfect, but our problems are small. Our problems are few and far between. For the most part, we get along great. And you know, I'd consider her my best friend. So it's nothing that either of us would want to break up over. And sure, we have our fights and stuff like that. But usually, by the next day or later on that evening or whatever, things are fine. They're smoothed over. Nothing's nothing's wrong anymore, and we're, and we're good. But that's because they're not serious issues. And my friend's going through a serious issue with his girlfriend. And this is something that she needs to seriously get help with. And until she helps herself, nobody's going to be able to help her. And until that happens, all she's going to be doing is bringing the relationship down and bringing my friend down. And he's going to be, you know, coming up to me and, and our mutual friend. And basically, I hate to use this word, but complaining about it. And, you know, I always want to be there for him. I always want to be a lending shoulder and a lending ear and help him with some advice and stuff like that. But it's just really hard to sit there and look your friend in the face and tell him that, you know, dude, you should dump your girlfriend because you could do better. How do you say that to somebody? I don't know. Maybe you guys can help me in the comments below. What do you think I should do? Should I leave the topic alone? Should I kind of just let him do what he wants to do? Or should I try to give him some real solid advice and just tell him he's got to move on? As much as he's got invested into the relationship, I truly think that he should really kind of cut his losses and just move on. Find someone else. Find someone who's more suitable for him. Someone that's not going to drive him to the ground. And, you know, someone that he's not going to have to deal with these ongoing issues with. Um, let me know what you guys think. What would you do in this situation? I really need some advice here, so I hope you guys can um, give me some feedback here. But anyway, thanks for taking the time to watch. This gameplay is coming to an end here. We pull up the victory, 250 to 209. It was a pretty close game. Got a decent score there, 55 kills. I got nine captures. 
I don't play Hardpoint too often. I was just doing a Mercenary Mosh Pit here, uh, trying to complete those challenges I mentioned. But again, thanks for watching, guys. Like, favorite, and subscribe. I appreciate it. Vile Self, out.